Good morning. <laughs> My name is Fabian Indalesu, and I'm on live right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm alive. Yes. <laughs> good morning again. And to those of you in the mainland, uh, good afternoon. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of a beautiful morning here in the cinema, no? And uh, yes, I'm kind of a little bit uh, late. As, uh, you know, I've always uh, wake up early uh, to go on live regarding uh, how we are doing here in the cinema. You know, uh, it's, it's kind of a, you know, a lot of issue going on. And uh, that's basically in my mind, myself. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of uh, an issue of, you know, uh, all the pressure, no? Uh, all the pressure of... Uh, you know, my, just my heart. This is what's really pressuring me. You know, my sincere heart for the people who are all suffering here in the cinema. Some people, uh, you know, uh, in the community are all pressured because of their employment, their livelihood. And how are they doing in the government in terms of, uh, you know, being oppressed as to their freedom to speak out? And the fear of all these people. So that's their pressure. That's not my pressure. I'm not pressured, uh, you know, by anything other than my heart is pressuring me. My heart is pressuring me that I cannot uh, have this conscience of just allowing uh, this government to be what it is right now. I do not need a survey. I do not need to survey, uh, you know, what is going on in the government. It's already evident by everybody uh, on this island uh, who are, or, 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 or what do you call it, employed by the government and even those families that are not employed who remain silent. You know, the silence here in the cinema has to sound off. Everybody got to sound off because my, my voice is just not loud enough. This, this, this governor and the government is just not gonna happen e enough is enough honestly I mean this governor just is just almost like the typical bully guy who bully people but then hide behind you know uh, a closed door or what that will not face people in person you know I dare this govern governor right now I do and I'm gonna go up there today in front of that building, not not inside because they're not gonna uh, what do you call that no uh, uh, gonna c come out you know or or see me. But I dare him to come out in the front, no, and speak before the people with me on life to assure, give the people assurance that no this government of of his administration is not an oppressive government that is not a bully person that is a a, a, a governor of the people. You know, that, that this, this uh, government is not his. It's for the people. So honestly, today enough is enough. We are on America. You see my hat? We are on American soil. We are in US, uh, under the U.S. flag. I, I feel sometimes that no. No, I, feel, I still feel like I'm, I'm uh, under the U.S. flag. But to many people, you might as well put in the damn no communist new flag on this island and, and, and salute it. Because no, nobody is, uh, they all fear. But why? Why do they have to fear? Because this governor is just a, a, an oppressive governor, honest to God. People got to start speaking up. But then I don't blame you because I'm not going to be the one to, to buy your, 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 you know, your livelihood. I cannot afford it. But what I can afford is my heart to speak up against this governor, honest to God governor. This is your advance notice, Governor, that I will be up there today before noon. And I will challenge you out there as long as I, how long my no, no cell phone is going to be on. Come outside. Come outside in the front, Governor, and t talk to the people with me. No? And then there, from there on, no, we can communicate. So I've been calling your office and uh, some sometimes, uh, you know, you promised me, Governor, that I will call you up in the office to set appointment, but it seems like uh, it's it's like trying to call no 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 uh, Jupiter, Mars, anywhere. This is unreachable. 
So today, today I'm not going to invite anybody. I'm not going to put anybody in the position. I will go there by myself and all just, you know, I'm responsible for all, all alone. I've been speaking up long enough for the people on life. So this probably uh, my life this morning and then the next life will be you know, to go up there to that uh, front of the office and I challenge uh, the governor and the lieutenant governor. Honestly, this is my heart speaking right now. I will go up there today before noon and I will stand in front. I will not impede anybody to walk the flow of, of, of employee into the governor's office. I will not. Anyone. And I will dare and I will accept that if they come up with any kind of bully or some excuses or reason to arrest me, I will gladly no, no, no comply. But you gotta come up with no, 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 uh, an illegal no, no, no behavior or action of my part. Because I swear to God, honestly, no, that I will sue anyone to, to somehow no, no, no arrest me for nothing. Just like uh, what happened. But right now, honestly, I'm going to go up there today before noon. And I will challenge the governor. And I know you're going to be in their office, governor. And you, lieutenant governor. And now you maybe you're listening and you're going to go uh, on what? On leave? On sick leave? Or administrative leave? That's how no, no you are. You are a coward, governor. You are a coward. And the same goes with you, primo. You both are just coward. You guys are, you, you know already somebody's going to lose this election. No, and I bet, I bet my own poor money in the bank, all of it. Enough is enough. People gotta start also you no know, sounding off that you no, know, this government is just ah, you no know, oppressing people, terminating people, and let's talk about that. Some people, and even the government, have some funding of no scholarship grant, a chef and all, everything for college. What kind of message is that? That you are, are, are no, having a program to, to, to uh, what do you call that, uh, uh, finance for what little you guys have. It shows that you guys don't support it. But you, it's there. And yet when people come home with education and, and, and degrees and, and, and have their skills all in place, that some people were not renew of their contract because of political no, no, uh, affiliation or political uh, what? What, Governor? You're a very good governor in covering up your track as to the fact that no, you don't want to be responsible for some of the, your cabinet's decision to fire people. What is wrong with you? Yes, I can, I'm mindful for that, governor, that no, no, sometimes it's untrackable to, to, to say the least that no, you're making decision to your cabinet, to the people, to the legislature, to the senators. Oh, I'll prove it in the issue that I have something to do with that uh, decision of those new rascals. From the legislature Republican to the senator Republican to you and all others, including probably CUC too, and all others. Nonsense, honest to God. Seriously. What is wrong with this? Uh, a picture of this government is gotten worse. My God, honest to God, sometimes we need, just need to, 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 to have a moment of prayers for you, Governor. You have no mercy, no, 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 Governor. You have no mercy, no compassion. That you just uh, bully people in a very uh, uh That in front of the people, you look like a humble person, as if you are yes a passive aggressive person. <clears throat> so today, to make a long story short, honestly. I'm gonna, that's my mission today is to go up there in front of the, uh, your building and I'm sure you're gonna use the back door to, to go up there 
but I challenge you. I'm not gonna go to the back door and uh, you know, look for you. And uh, because I'm sure you have uh, seven uh, bodyguards that are so no paranoid. Uh, you know, like uh, oh, just in the lesu. If they see other people, it's like ah, oh, no, they're safe. But in the lesu, it's uh, a threat because of uh, his camera. His camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, put him, uh, no, not six feet uh, because of the COVID. It's uh, more like no arrest him because he's looking at me with the camera. <laughs> what a shame this uh, time of uh, our life here in the cinema. This is, uh, uh, you know, and yet... Uh, we have this group to think otherwise that we're gonna teach the people of the cinema to somehow go to, you know, maybe be a cinema become a, a, an independent no, country or, or island or what? Imagine we're corrupted under the U.S. flag with the FBI, you no, know, from time to time come in and uh, do their work. Yet under the Independence, uh, cinema independent, uh, what, what do you not even say? Uh, in the Maria, in Mariana's independent uh, state. Imagine Mariana's independent state, like, uh, uh, so it's gonna be uh, uh, controlled by uh, uh, what, royal family, like a tourist family. That's it. If not, we're probably even worse than the, some neighboring uh, country or island of a corruption because it's going to be controlled by uh, uh, what you call it, a, f a family that uh, also in uh, in working collaboration with the biggest conglomerate business and that's all going to be and so the poor people will be poor and the rich people would be you know, controlling the island so that's how we're going to be so uh, you know like I said you know under the U.S. flag we're still having you no know, issue with corruption in let alone the uh, no us no uh, governing ourselves. This is how really just uh, unacceptable you know, people of this governor to govern this people that uh, belongs to all of us. Enough. Enough no, no, no people that uh, we have to somehow no resort to to no, no election after election to change government. Because you know, the government, you know, the minute we elect them, it belongs to them. And then we go back to the same cycle of being silenced. And guess the next you know, four years from now. Wow. So, I'm not going to repeat myself today. <clears throat> I'll be up there. On behalf of the 11 or 12 uh, firemen who got no terminated, on behalf of no one CUC no no college graduate who was uh, not renewal and uh, what do you call that? Um, uh, for the people who were not no uh, uh, bring back to the government under furlough because of no uh, connection, and on behalf of those people of the 185 uh, applicants who were not uh, no pick uh, 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 to be uh, a candidate of the cadet because uh, no, they choose them under whatever no, uh, un, un, uh, formal, informal way of no, choosing them versus no, an actual, and I dare this uh, DPS to provide me with an open government act, uh, uh, really a uh, hundred uh, percent standard operation procedure, how those 21 were selected. And I'm coming around on that. I will come around on that. And I believe that this DPS will somehow know, gonna know, correct me if I'm wrong, that might end up having to fabricate papers to prove to me that such new process were conducted from the agility test to the uh, English placement test to how this uh, board, uh, do they even have a board no, no members to select uh, the, the process of those tw uh, 21 no people? Do they even have an, a people that have conducted, uh, that were responsible in conducting the agility no physical test? I want to see that. 
I don't care if you guys redacted it, no, what is uh, uh, privacy and what is not. So there's a lot of issue in the government that no, needs to be addressed. And even NMTI, you no know, issues and everything from the poor one, you no know, problem, even right up to this present time, that is still just like a slow poke. What is going on? And in this uh, issue of the stimulus that no, we have to stimulate the government to take action on it, then still no, not no, no, taking action on it until what? Until clearly has to no, call America and uh, check into it. Come on. People out there are tired, but they're just not sounding off. And like I said, I don't blame them because I'm not going to be the one to buy their Cancun and rice and spam <laughs> or gas to work. I understand. But yet from time to time, we, I just need to encourage people to start speaking up. Because, you know, sometimes you just need to sacrifice. Like some people may uh, end up, you know, uh, you know, getting shot in the process of you know, speaking up for their rights. Uh, some people are getting fired, speaking up for their rights. Some people, you know, getting arrested for speaking up their rights. Some people are getting beat up for speaking up their rights. But speaking up for your right, you know, just like the slave. So we are all you know, a slave of our own self. Honestly, we are all you no know, slave. Until then, we shall be free, no? When we speak up of our freedom. So with that, I, I uh, end this new, uh, what do you call that? Life. And uh, I will keep you guys updated. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is my Aussie. And... Uh, time enough is enough and time to speak up you know really adios take care i love you all